Hi, the topic is backtracking. This is one of the problem solving strategy. Using this approach, we can solve problem or we can write our algorithm by following this strategy. This strategy uses brute force approach. And brute force approach says that for any given problem, you should try out all possible solutions and pick up desired solutions. This we were already following in dynamic programming. But in dynamic programming, we were solving optimization problems. Backtracking is not for optimization problem. Backtracking is used when you have multiple solutions and you want all those solutions. So for explaining backtracking and how it follows brute force approach, I'll take a simple example and explain the strategy. So let us take an example. If there are three students, two boys and a girl, and there are three chairs, we have to arrange them in those three chairs. In how many ways we can arrange? There are three, number of students are three, so we can arrange them in three factorial ways. That is six ways. Now we want to find out all possible arrangements. So for finding all possible arrangements, we can solve the problem and the solution can be represented in the form of a tree. That is solution tree. And we also call it as state space tree. So we will represent the solution in the form of state space tree. Let us generate a tree and solve this problem. So let us start. This is the starting of a solution. Now let us take all possibilities. So first, who can sit? First chair boy one will sit. So this is showing first boy. So in the first level, we will consider each one of the students. So let us say boy one is sitting there. Now next, next level for next chair, that is next seat, who can sit there? Boy two. So boy two can sit here. Then next is girl one. The third level for third seat so girl one can sit so we have finished with the input now for another arrangement take out girl from here so take out go back here any other possibility no take out boy two also so take out boy two and in the second place who can sit there girl can sit there so girl one can sit there then at that place next boy two can sit there boy two can sit there Right? So this one more solution we got. Take out boy 2. Take out girl 1. Any other possibility? No. So take out boy 1 also. Now next is boy 2 can sit in first place. Then who can sit here? Boy 1. Boy 1. Then girl 1. Girl 1. Then take out girl 1. Take out boy 1. Girl 1 and boy 1. Right? Then next girl 1 sitting here then boy one boy two and here boy one boy two and boy one so these are the possible arrangements so one two three four five six so from the root if i follow a one of the path i get one of the solution i wanted all six possibilities and i have all possibilities if i take this root this says that first chair boy two will sit then boy one then girl one so I have found out all possible solutions. But the problems that we solve using backtracking, those problems usually will have some constraints. And we will try to check those constraints and get the solutions which are satisfying those constraints. Now I will impose one constraint here. I'll say that girl should not sit in middle. Girl should not still sit in middle. This is the constraint. So girl should not come in between. Then what are the possible solutions? So let us check. So again, I will just trace and draw the tree. So first boy one, okay, correct. Then boy two, that is nearer to boy one. Then that is at second place. Then third place girl one. Yes, correct answer. Go back, next possibility. Second place girl, no, not allowed. So no need to go further, stop here only. Right, Come constraint is imposed 
and we are not generating the tree further from here and we are killing this node we are not going further because what is the condition girl should not be in the middle so in the second level girl should not come so we got girl here in this combination so we stop here and we say this node is killed and how this node is killed we say we are imposing a condition and that we call it as bounding function that condition is called as bounding function so we applied bounding function and killed the node so this is how we are trying to get a proper solution as well as we are trying to save our work also now go back boy 2 is sitting here boy 1 okay second level second chair boy is there no problem then girl yes this is also a solution this is also a solution right so second solution then go back girl girl is again coming in between that is second chair so kill this one kill the node right by applying bonding function go back girl now boy then boy no problem here no problem here then this is also a solution this is also a solution no bonding function if no bonding function is applied until you reach at the last level then you got a solution so total four solutions we got so there are a few problems that comes under backtracking like n queens problem and some of the subsets problem graph coloring problem right i will show those problems yeah one more thing the same approach that is brute force approach is used by one more strategy called as branch and bound branch and bound this is one more strategy let me show you the difference between backtracking and branch and bound now itself see both follows brute force approach and both generate stay space tree but the approach is different what is that in backtracking the way we were generating the nodes were first this one then this one then this one then this one go back and come to this side go back so this is dfs we were following so backtracking follows defer search whereas branch and bound will follow breadth first search I will show in branch and bound how we generate the tree. First, this one, then boy one, boy two, girl one. See, we generate all the nodes in the level. This is breadth for search. So we are exploring a problem to find a solution breadth wise, right? So then here who can sit? Boy one already has taken the seat. So boy two or girl one can take the seat. So this is boy one or girl one can take a seat. This is boy one and boy two. And here girl one will take a seat. Boy two will take a seat. Girl one and boy one. Boy two, boy one. So in branch and bound, it is generated level wise, level wise. So only the difference how the tree is generated, I have shown. I did not discuss branch and bound. This we will discuss in some other video. It's a different thing, but the common thing I have shown you. So this follows depth first search that follows breadth first search. So in the next videos, I will cover the problems related to backtracking.